the last show, I spent a lot of time taking care of the little details that I needed to to get to the point I am now, which is ready to start the finishing. Uh, as you can see, there's a lot of little pieces, parts. Uh, the drawers are actually another piece of the shop over there, or I should say my garage over there. And uh, I didn't want to put this piece together and then do the finishing for the obvious reasons. There's a lot of stuff here. And I want to make sure I get everything that needs to get its coat of finish on it, have a coat of finish. So first thing I'm going to do on this is I'm going to blow all these pieces off with compress there and then wipe it all down. Uh, and that's going to be preparation for the first coat, of, first coat of finish, which is boiled linseed oil. Well, I've given the uh, napka plenty of time to dry. and Everything came out very nice. So I'm ready to start putting my first coat of boiled linseed oil on. Probably the only coat of boiled linseed oil on here. Um, this is about 50-50 naphtha boiled linseed oil. Uh, I like to use naphtha because it dries, helps it dry faster. I'm just going to use a foam brush and put it on fairly liberally. And then once I cover it, I'll go back with a dry cotton rag and pick up the excess. Well, a coat of boiled linseed oil is over everything. I've wiped everything down. It took quite a while to do. The biggest thing that was on my mind was how I was going to finish the timbers. And what I decided on the timbers is these are just going to be boiled linseed oil and wax over the top of them. So I'm very afraid if I put anything else on, I don't want to break the bond between the canvas and the slats. So I'm just going to let these dry. Um, and then the wax will get put on. All of this is going to sit for about two or three hours. I'm going to come back, I'm going to wipe it down again, and then I'm going to let it sit for about a week before I start applying the shellac finish. Well, this is something I've never shown before, and this is how I make shellac flakes. I went to shellac.net and found out the amount of shellac flakes to the amount of DNA alcohol I'm going to use. And I, myself, I prefer a one and a half pound cut. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a coffee grinder and I've got some shellac flakes here. I'm going to be using amber on this. And the first thing I need to do is to grind some flakes up here. It just helps me dry faster. Zero it out. One point three ounces. So I need some more. Well, I've got three ounces of shellac flakes here, which is what I want. And first thing I do is I put sixteen ounces of water in this, or denatured alcohol, I should say. Hopefully, I have enough. need to add this to that. Give that a little shake. And I'm going to let this cook for about a week. I'm going to shake it every, every time I remember to anyways. People say, you know, shake it every hour, 15 minutes. I don't have time to sit there and shake shellac flakes every 15 minutes. So. Just when I remember to do it, I'll do it. And next weekend, I'll be able to uh, put the shellac on. But that should be more than enough for this project. Another thing I like to do is I like to uh, label my shellac. So A, I know what it is. And B, more important than anything else, I know what date I made it. So I don't use all this on this project. I don't want to use it in about six months from now. So I put a nice big label on here, 1.5 amber, 3.115, which is today's date. I've given all these pieces about a week to dry. Actually, it has been a week. Uh, I've got all the pieces laid out. There's still some more pieces over there, which you don't see here. Uh, a lot of stuff. So I'm going to start uh, by putting a coat of shellac on all this. Probably two or three more after that. Let me show you how I accomplish this. I'm going to start this tabletop first. I've actually done the... Uh, bottom already. I've just got some of the shellac I showed you before. This is a 
one and a half pound cut of garnet shellac. I just got to rag. The first coat's got to go on pretty liberally. So, just got to rag here, dip in the shellac. I'm just going to cover the surface with it. And I will do the edges last. Now I just need to go around the rest of the pieces and do this. This is going to take me a while. I'll give that first coat about an hour to dry and uh, second coat I'm going to be using just a little cotton ball. And I'm just going to go over very lightly again. After this coat, I'll follow up with some 400 grit sandpaper to smooth everything out. And then there'll be a third coat and maybe a fourth coat. It's really going to depend on how that comes out. Well, I've given that second coat of shellac about three hours to dry, and uh, I've got some 400 grit sandpaper, and just very lightly, I need to scrub sand this entire piece, which again, is going to take some time, but uh, I need to get this surface nice and smooth and level. I want to apply very light pressure. I want to make sure that I don't rub through any of the shellac, because the shellac is on it right now. It's very, very thin. After I get done with this, I'll go back with a towel and I'll wipe it all down. I may even spritz just a little bit of water on there to get any additional dust off. And then I'll put the third coat on. Well, after sanding it down and wiping it off, uh, I did spritz just a tiny bit of water on there just to help clean up with some of that dust. And, uh, this is very, very smooth. It's really nice. That's going to be a very good base for the third coat. Well, I'm done putting the shellac on this. I ended up putting uh, four coats of amber shellac on it. And it's just beautiful. Um, these are the drawer fronts. And I, I got to ask you guys a question. I've, I've got uh, two different sizes of hardware. They're the same pole, but one's bigger than the other. This is a smaller one. And then I've got a larger one here. Um, I'm interested to know what, what you guys think, uh, what I should go with. Myself, I'm inclined to go to the larger ones. I think they match the uh, the, the fan ovals a little bit more, but that's just my opinion. Anyways, let me know. Well, that's it for this show. Um, next time I'll be putting everything together. I'll be putting the bottoms in the drawers. I'll be assembling everything, putting the timbers in, and applying the final coat of wax to it. Um, this has been a very long series. I appreciate everybody watching. And uh, please subscribe if you haven't. Again, it means a lot to me. Uh, thanks again for watching.